his wife step out in grand style on easter day as they celebrate their first easter together as a married couple guys don't go anywhere if you want to find out how much is please celebrated his wife what he has to say and a lot of controversial um comment that they got yesterday the post that must please did. so guys don't go anywhere if you don't want to miss any part of this video but before then if you're new to my channel you're all welcome and if you have not subscribed yet what are you waiting for please click the subscribe button and my return subscribers god bless you all so much for always coming back to watch my new upload so guys let's dive right in into the main reason of this video so guys moses bliss posted his wife and himself as they step out in grand style today and this is his capture for this particular video happy easter sunday from us we had a glorious resurrection sunday in the beautiful state of aquaribo it felt really home for me and mary weisborn from having sunday service in eket to visiting the venue for our bliss experience the homecoming and meeting with our amazing and ever supportive bliss experience team and sharing a moment of prayer our sunday was joyful how was your easter sunday i really want to know so this is the capture included and guys yesterday when Moses Bliss posted a video of himself and his wife arriving at quiet bone Oh my goodness, this particular video you are watching right now, the comment they got, it was so discouraging. A lot of people were bashing Marie. They were saying Marie is dressing like a whole woman. Why is she dressing like that? Let me just read some of the few comments that they actually got from this particular post. They got so many negative comments. So this is one of the comments from Shima Joy. She wrote, let's be honest, there's a whole lot of difference between dressing decent and dressing like an old granny. Before she deleted or achieved some of the posts on her IG, she dresses really well. But since she got engaged, I don't understand her dressing again. The husband outfit is always on point. Look at Messi Chiwo, Judy K, Ada A, Simisola, ETC. They dress really good. Nobody is saying she should go naked. At least dress well, Biko. For people saying we should mind our business, she be their public figure. So it's our business. Another comment again. She really needs to start dressing like a youth that she is for real. Everything is no moderation. You don't have to overdo because Moses Bliss is always dressing normal. So why? With a lot of question mark. This is another comment again. Christianity is not supposed to be boring. If people actually read the Bible, they will see that David and Solomon won luxury, silk, cutting and gold. They were shiny and luxurious. Modesty doesn't have to be outdated. Another comment again. Mesichiwo is also a Christian and dressed very smart. This is another comment from Miss Linda. I would have loved to say the same, but the husband is not complaining, so let's mind our business. This is another comment again. Sense, stop dressing like old woman. You are a youth, beautiful and sexy. Your husband will get tired of you eventually. Look smart, elegant, sexy, pretty and well dressed. Stop all this religious madness. It eventually ruins and damages. Don't miss religion with looking good and smart. So this is another comment from Miss Caroline. For it though, why is it that most guests don't most guests once they get married, they start dressing like old women. Like, bro, marriage doesn't mean you start dressing old because you are married. Your husband will get tired and look outside. Dress cashy and sweet. Small marriage, you don't the wear boo boo now. So, she got so, in fact, like 50, 70% of the conversation were 
just people saying she should stop dressing like an old woman she should dress beautifully and all of that so guys please comment down below what do you think this outfit she was wearing in this particular video what is anything wrong with it because she got so many negative comments and today she stepped out in grand style people were like okay this one is still good but she's she will upgrade herself and stop dressing that way so guys just comment down below what do you think and happy start to everybody watching this video god bless you for watching so my relationship with hold on my relationship with marie was not the easiest at the beginning at some point it felt like it was never going to work out because of some challenges but in in those times pastor nat was there for us you, you don't understand. It's very special to me. It's very special. Thank you, sir, for your love. Can we celebrate God's servant? Thank you, sir, for your love, for your humility. Your life continues to inspire all of us, inspire me for so many years. Thank you so much, sir, for, for being so humble. You know, when the miracle now happened, and I went to Pastor Nat, I said, Sir, the Lord has finally done it. He said, He said, Moses, I am going to be in Ghana. Don't worry, I'm coming to blow the trumpets over that wedding. And today, Pastor Nat is here. I just want to say thank you, sir. But just before it comes up, I just want to thank every minister who has ministered. Please, if I miss your name, you will forgive, forgive me. That came, everybody came from all over the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us share a word of prayer. Almighty God, thank you so much for the privilege to gather here today as your children. Lord, we just commit your people before you, that Lord, as they seek thee first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, that all other things shall be added to them. Lord, I pray that as they have sought you first in all things, as they look to you for marriage, God, may you add it to them in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that it's only you that can provide the one, the one that will take them to their destiny. We pray in Jesus' name, God, that you will bring it by the power of the Spirit of God, that in the same way you divinely orchestrated for us to meet, so shall you do it for your children in Jesus' name because God you are the same today yesterday today and forever so therefore God do as your word says do what only you can do we will give you all the praise and glory for indeed you are worthy to be praised in Jesus name amen hallelujah lift your hands to the Lord you know while I was meditating on every day I just thank God for the wife that the Lord gave me And the Lord is telling somebody, you are not asking for too much. What you want is in existence. That very person that God has designed for you. That very person that God has called to compliment you. That God has raised to be your husband, to be your wife. And help you achieve you know, your purpose in life. I declare that that person comes to you now. In the name of Jesus. And there is a prayer I'm going to pray because the Lord told me that many times he brings the right people away but we are not able to discern, to know them, to see them. They come around, we look for the wrong things and because we are focused on the wrong things, we miss out on what the Spirit of God is trying to do. I declare in the name of Jesus that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. That you will know, when you see the person you will know. In the name of Jesus. They may not look like it but the Lord will show you. You will descend them by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I declare that this peace of mind, this tranquility that we enjoy, that the Lord will reproduce it. The Lord will multiply it. In the name of Jesus. And we declare as God's servant has said, it is kingdom marriages. In the name of Jesus. Can you celebrate these kingdom stars for us? We honor you and truly love you. Thank you, darling. Amen.